There are things that, oh my gosh, it's like, um, why turn on the recorder? Why, why talk to you? But when you're the only one that I can talk to, and I get frozen in these frozen, I mean, paralyzed. You know, um, I would love, I would love, love, love to bust the system of diagnosis. <clears throat> but, um, I've been diagnosed with some pretty heavy stuff lately. And and when I research or you know do any any kinds of background check on them to see if what they say is accurate comes up, yeah. <sighs> and uh, I got labeled with even one past. PTSD. I don't know if there's one past PTSD, but um, it's called <laughs> what's it called? Psychotic depression. And and I researched that and I looked it up just to see, you know, that, what the WTF. <laughs> Is that sounds pretty psychotic. I feel I, I don't feel psychotic. But it's deep, you know? And it's like I will do anything. Anything. Drink my pee all day long. I'm not doing that right now. I mean, I, I'm drinking it maybe two, three times a day. But um, I'm doing things that aren't healthy. I'm, t I'm eating too much sugar. I'm not drinking enough pee. I'll even drink alcohol if it's sitting around. I don't do that, you know, as a habit. This is coffee. Drinking too much of that, maybe, you know. Well, I've been um, doing what I can <clears throat> because psychologically, if this is a, an illness that there's two worlds, you know. You go medical or you go psychological. And if you if you get thrown into the psychological pool, it's a whole different world. They don't even look to see if you have something physiological going on, right? But but it's been good. Um, I've been. Um, <clears throat> participating in a program that's intensive and daily and for you those of you that uh, I'm sorry about I'm not answering comments I'm not watching videos I'm not doing much of anything sorry about that but I'm doing what I can to overcome this because um It's not, you know, people, people who haven't experienced depression at all, they're like, you know, just shake it off, just get over it, just get on down the river, <laughs> you're in an eddy, get out of it, and, oh, I, you know, 
I truly would love to do that. Stick it off, but well. So I'm I'm right now a week into uh, a program called BIOP. Um, I don't know if it's a local program or if you have one like that near you. <laughs> it's great. It's good. <laughs> Just to let you know, uh, sorry I have not been <clears throat> showing up. And it's because I don't want to record depressing videos like this. You know what I'm saying? But I'm stopping in, checking in. Um, like I said, I will do anything. One, to avoid getting a four-day headache. Two, to protect myself from outward poisons of any kind. You know, and every time I dive into a system, say, right now it's the psychological system, to combat anything they can do to combat mental or physical disease, dis-ease, you know. We do it. We got gotta do. I guess. And right now I'm in the middle of processing. Maybe you know. I don't know. It's been a week of four-hour sessions, five days a week, five days. And it's only one one week. There are three weeks in the whole program of it, and that's good. So I'm just checking in with you, telling you why I haven't been showing up on YouTube, trying to kind of cleanse of everything uh, that might be causing me dis-ease. And I know you guys are somebody I can talk to right now. <clears throat> I've been talking to this group I'm in. So that's good. But, um, I have a feeling the group I'm in is for people who are on the edge of suicide or have just been on the edge and dove over. I'm not sure. <laughs> but, it's interesting, there are people that I've grown to love in just one week. Isn't that weird? I have no clue what I'm even talking about. I'm just checking in with you guys. Thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. Thanks for showing up. I'm recording right now in the middle of a, a high level of anxiety, panic attack, uh, paralyzation. I don't have a headache, which is good. It's very good. for you guys, I will. I want to give you my word, I will not commit suicide. Let me look you in the eye right now and tell you if for some reason I don't show up, 
I want to keep showing up consistent so I'm not like crying wolf. I'm not, I'm not on, on that edge. I don't think about ways and means to do that. But I'm having a little trouble living in this existence right now. <laughs> Why? I don't have a clue. It's good to know that you're there. But when you're in this state, it doesn't matter if there's a million people there. So state am I in? I don't know. I don't want to turn the camera off because who wants to watch somebody who's in this state? <laughs> right? I don't. You don't. It's real. I mean, it's really where I'm at, you guys, right now. Um, I, I have no interest in anything, or anybody, or it's not totally true, but it's not totally true. Of course it's not true. I love my family and I love my watching kids and grandkids and watching all that. <clears throat> watching life. How selfish it would be to even think of suicide, right? I don't think of it, but I, I can't stand being here. It's so weird. I should, why shouldn't I be loving every minute? Am I missing something? You know? Am I missing something? <laughs> I hear people say, well, quit drinking your pee and maybe no. No, that is not it. It's not, I'm missing because it, you know, whatever. Thanks for watching. I mean, I'm sure this is getting a little too long. I've been doing nothing but sleeping. I get up and it's, I'm very touched by the way our American government works when somebody is in need, like I am right now, they come and pick me up and take me to this group. <laughs> And bring me home. Alright. Okay. It's time to turn it off. And I'm just checking in. Thanks for your love and support. I'll keep talking to you. I gotta keep talking to you guys. I just have to keep talking. And don't forget you have my words. Sorry about wiping my snot on my hand. I I just wouldn't do it, okay? And I hope you don't either. Let's just hang in here together. <laughs>